Obvious disclaimer alert. A lot of what I say in this video is not to be taken seriously whatsoever. Okay, bye. So I've been playing Honkai Impact 3rd for quite some time now. Hell, I've just recently climbed my way up to level 82 a week ago or so. Neat, right? So, since I'm at this level, I think I'm more than qualified to draw some overall conclusions as to the common reason specific battle suits are picked, which is the purpose of today's video. I'll be covering all of the battle suits currently available in the global version of Honkai. So no, Starlight Astrologos Teresa will not be included in this video. But if you saw the title, this is only part one of our saga. So if you're interested, please subscribe to know when future parts release. We'll be covering all the other Valkyries. So in a parodic fashion, let's get to work on drawing some conclusions and saying what your main Valkyrie says about you. Part 1. Timestamps will also be in the description as well as planned battle suits to be featured in future parts, in case you want to have just flipped through to your favourite battle suit. Your first ever Valkyrie battle suit as soon as you install the game. How nostalgic, ain't it? But let's have some eye to eye discussion on this. If you actually main White Comet outside of the early game, you're clinically insane. Also, simultaneously a badass for how brave you are. You were the person that bravely ate all your vegetables behind the table when you were a kid. You made sure to get all the dairy and yogurt you need to get that punk strong! So if you're not actually crazy and you're still using her in the mid game, but seriously, finding White Comet mains is as rare as Sailor's character development in the game's story. Don't even bother. And don't at me either! So, if you main White Comet Kiana, you're too young, pal. In terms of the overall playtime in Honkai, that is. That or you're just crazy! Okay, so I'm just adding this into the script as I'm making it, but some endgame guy just literally uploaded White Comet doing some work in Abyss. Jesus, the coincidence. Anyway, he falls under the Brave and Badass category. Moving on. Just to quickly point this out, I'm not talking about this battlesuit augment Void Drifter. So this is just the base battlesuit that I'm talking about. Void Drifter will come a bit later though. So this is another early game favourite, for when the new Valkyrie Muster System wasn't in place yet. Back in my day, before the new Valkyrie Muster System made the lives of newbies so much easier, and when the old building system for improving Valkyrie stats was still in effect, you weren't able to obtain more Valkyries as easily when you were first starting out. But our damage is pretty meh, and our game plan is still monotonous after the first few bullets bore through your enemies, and a few bullets later, your sanity. Her only saving grace is sucking up all your enemies into one area to help you better, <laughs> to better clear abyss. If you main Valkyrie Ranger Kiana, you've just been freshly hatched in the glorious world of Honkai, much like White Comet. She was once an okay substitute for not having that many Valks at your disposal at first, but due to how the game works now, she really has no place in the aforementioned interim unless you're going for one of those specific medal missions, where you will need the range she provides. Or Kiana's just simply best gone in your opinion, to which I say, fair enough I guess. So if you were looking for something effective from Kiana, oh boy, your divine prayers have just been answered. Divine Prayer Kiana is still used, to this day, in the endgame, and rather effectively might I add. She's a top choice mainly because of her impair when she's off the field. Yeah, boss me time! Yes, she doesn't even have to physically appear as she just impacts the whole team greatly. Talk about literal plot armor for your team! But we're not here to talk about why she's so divine in the eyes of the player base. If you main Divine Prayer Kiana, let's be honest, you just want them sweet rewards from Memorial Arena. Night Moonbeam Kiana. The literal definition of spin it to win it. If you main Night Moonbeam Kiana, you're either one of two things. Number one, you actually appreciate Kiana within the Honkai lore, whether it be her looks or you just being a main character whore. Or on the more likely alternative end, well, let's have an interactive game show. Actually, you know what? Let me get into character. What is up, Hulk Hello Nation? I'm your host, 
entire meme star. Let's get right into the game! Now, it appears that a list of common night moonbeam features have been leaked online. Can I please get a hands up from all the exalted Memorial Arena players that play Night Moonbeam and all the whales if this is true? She is at triple S rank. You're either working on or already do have a pre arm Depositron Blasters, fully upgraded to six stars. And she is paired up alongside Celestial Him. If you kept your hand raised this entire time, guess what? You're despicable. It's night time and it's 20 degrees. Why am I wearing this? Asher of the Void is mine. No! Nice job, Squidhead. You blew it for both of us. Ah, Void Drifter, the actual Valkyrie Ranger. When that Augment call came out, I was still a bumbling little newbie. Now, I really liked the Augment outfit, so I spent at least a month or so before I finally managed to get Valkyrie Ranger Kiana to the appropriate level, just so I could upgrade her damn core. And when I finally hit the 4 star mark, oh boy, she stuck around until I unlocked a certain flavour of Russian Lolly. If you main Void Drifter, You've either got a lack of good Valkyries in the mid game with the incomplete 3 star or less Augment core, or you just needed a really good shield annihilator. Just look at how much it shields, my god. Actually, I just had a thought. Do you know how ironic it is for a Valkyrie that's only using a fraction of Siren's powers being more relevant in the meta than a Valkyrie that's actually, oh well, att attempting to at least tap into all of Siren's power? <laughs> yeah, only from Mihoyo, guys. Anyway, that's it from moi. Later, breeders.